So um, today is legs day and um, I'm going to bring you something a little different. So um, every now and then, just to chop it up and give my legs a little shock, I switch things around. So today we're going to be doing some slow squats and I mean slow, talking about maybe five seconds on the way down and you power up. This variation is fantastic, especially for me, because um, as intense as I train on leg day, I don't really get the doms as often. And doms are a good sign that you know, you've really put in work. So um, whenever I do this style, I get serious doms. So uh, yeah, it's gonna be great for you guys to try it out. Um, uh, it's gonna take a lot of um, technique. So listen out for the pointers. And uh, hopefully it goes well for me today because I actually did um, a very intense hamstring session the other day and I'm still feeling it, which is not cool, man. I don't wanna be feeling my hamstrings, you know? But uh, yeah, I can feel Sunday's hamstrings. So uh, hopefully it still goes well, but I'm sure it'll be fine. It's, it's, it's one of those exercises where you really are just in complete control. So you feel everything and you'll know whether it's going smooth or not. But we'll get started in a minute. Just gonna eat this. Hey, gonna warm up, of course. And um, even in my warm up, I'm gonna start the slow process. So you're gonna get to see the technique that I'm gonna be using with the warm up. No slow motion was used in the edit of this video. All squats are exactly the speed they occurred. slow on the way down making sure we're firing every fiber and then when you get to the bottom fire back up and then again you know how nice it feels when you got like this weight like this weight when i stepped out just now it just felt so light so nice and easy i say that but a free plate feels good as well but nah just just i was like ah oh, this feels so good because you know you can you can mess around with it you can control it you can do anything with it I mean, obviously I tried to do that with all the weights that I put on my back, but when I just walked this out just now, it just felt so light, you know? about doing it this tempo is as you're coming down it allows you to correct correct everything like you're, you're, you're in full control so if you feel like you're leaning forward a bit too much you can push back if you feel like your hips aren't dropping enough you can make sure that they are like as you're doing it that slow tempo you can control everything and just make sure everything is right before you come back up out of the squat so it's real cool guys of course I had to rock this today if you want to grab it stay tuned at the end I'm gonna give you some details What weights then would you recommend for these, this type of exercise to start with, if it's new to you? As with all the exercises that, every time you guys have seen me do legs all the time and you know that I start with the bar. So again, start light, super light, start with the bar and you're gonna go up in weight gradually, pretty similar to what you'd normally use. The reps are gonna be different. So it's still gonna be the same weight that you normally use, but the reps are gonna be different. You know, so uh, where I might do, um, I might do 10 reps on a free plate, this time round, with the slow tempo, I might just do six, you know? So, um, so weight will be the same, because you'll still be able, should be, up to a certain point, should be able to handle the same weight. But yeah, it's just the reps that's gonna be different. But the, the, the uh, an amazing thing and the enjoyable thing is the fact that the weights that, you know, you normally find a challenge, you're gonna have on your back. You might not get as many reps as you normally would with them, but you're gonna be able to feel every fibre firing as you power out from them. And imagine controlling it and not being scared of it. Because back in the day when I used to train heavy, I used to be, I used to have this anxiety about putting heavy weight on it. I'll take it off and I'm like, you know, anxious about, oh no, am I gonna get this? Now you're taking it off 
and as you're coming down, like you're, you're building up the confidence. I've got this weight. I've got this weight. You're aligning yourself to be in the right position. You make sure the squat's perfect, and then you come up. So you might not do as many reps as you would, but you'll know that those reps were perfect, and that will help you for everyone. One of the questions you're gonna ask about this is recovery time. And I'm sticking with my same strategy that I always tell you guys. I don't have a set set time when I go back in. For me, I, I just personally feel that you go back in when you feel you can um, perform the set effectively. You know, so yeah, I could give myself a time limit of maybe 60 seconds. But then if I'm not ready to perform at 60 seconds, it's gonna be a wasted set. I'm gonna get like a couple reps and then it's just not, it's not, it's not gonna be worth my time. So I'm gonna make sure I'm recovered to the point where it's still a challenge, but I've got enough energy to perform the reps effectively. And then I'm gonna go back in. So if that's 90 seconds for you, do 90 seconds. If it's two minutes, do two minutes. Questioning about depth, whole big debate whether you should do it or not. Keep telling you guys, you don't have to go A to G. It's something I do because I have the mobility to do it, and I'm very and I find my squats more comfortable when I squat like that. So um, by all means, go to parallel, uh, which is a standard. Um, you don't have to do ass to grass. So remember, I've said that. So there's no need to debate about it. Either you do want a squat that is below parallel, that, that's for sure. Just below parallel, you tip below, you come back up. For me personally, I go full range because I feel more powerful that way. I, I, I squat better that way, my technique is better that way. That's how I, why I do it that way. And with this exercise here, it's awesome because you get to that parallel stage and then you drop and you're, you're, skin, you're in complete control and you know there's little things that happen when you squat that are mistakes that we need to correct things like when our knees go out you know like so when they work out etc as you're doing a slow squat you can feel your body trying to do these things so on that uh, set there as I was coming down as I got to parallel I felt my knee wanting to slowly trying to twitch out I corrected it, I, I pushed it in actively because of the tempo I'm going, I'm not going fast, I can control it. If I was going fast, I'd literally drop down, it would sway out and then I'd come back up. But because I was going at that tempo, I could feel what it wanted to do, I put it back in. I could feel myself wanting to uh, lean back or lean forward, I adjust it and make sure that I'm in the right position as I drop down. So you're in full, complete control. And remember, you don't have to be heavy like this, you can start light and then, you know, correct your squat and it's awesome. You have a specific, um like diet before you hit a heavy leg day or like do you like to get like a lot of carbs in you or does it not really matter for you? I'll tell you this, this morning I had my normal breakfast which if you guys follow me on my Insta stories 
is my oats with bananas. Recently I've been adding apples as well, so it's oats, banana, uh, apple, uh, cinnamon, and um, sometimes, not all the time, I'll add a scoop of, um, a scoop, it's like a teaspoon of almond butter to it as well. And I use uh, almond milk with it. And um, that is a substantial breakfast. If you guys have seen, it's a big bowl of it. And then I'll have some eggs as well uh, for some extra protein. But that's not with it, obviously. <laughs> that's on the side. But um, yeah, so would I typically have a high carb meal before legs? Yes. You know, however, today I only managed to get breakfast in, so I'm right. just running on breakfast. But typically on a leg day, you want fuel, right. lots of fuel, and that way you perform better. So there's um, there's many ways to make sure that you're destroying as many muscle fibers as possible. There's things like drop sets, you know, failure sets, and uh, time under tension, which is what we're doing. So um, if you're trying to increase the intensity of your workouts. Try one of those things. I'll do. I'll do. I'll do it. I'll do vids on all of those things separately. But yeah, today we're working on time and attention. But all of these things are just intensifiers, you know, to make your session that little bit much harder and to really get as much fire, much muscle fibers recruited in the exercise as possible. I'm not really counting if I'm honest. I'm, I'm, I'm just going at a steady pace, slow as possible, and just making sure I'm in control. Um, so I'm not necessarily counting to the five. So some of those might be five, six seconds. Um, I don't think anyone will be under, but yeah, like I'm not necessarily having to 100% get to five seconds. But it's just, as you saw, it's just control, 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 control. Okay, with that depth, come up, control. Just in my head, I just want to fix every issue as I'm going down. And you can feel them. Like I said, guys, you'll feel everything trying to go wrong and you're just correcting it, correcting it, controlling it and coming up. Do you feel like you pause at the bottom or is it not really a pause, it's more of just a... It's not really a pause, it's the fact that you've, you've sat into right. with a heavy weight. Okay. So yeah, and then yeah, firing up. Yeah. pretty much done it so we've uh, worked up in weight controlling the rep controlling the reps slow tempo time under tension with all of the weights I'm gonna do some more but um, that's what I wanted to get through to you guys that's the technique hope you've learned from it try it out again guys start light don't go too heavy um, start light feel every rep feel every rep only when you feel like you've got the tempo right and the control and your form and everything perfect put the weight up and uh, yes give it that give that a go I'm telling you, if you don't normally feel doms from your leg sessions, squatting like that, you 100% will. Everything gets worked, you know? Last time I did this was last week, and uh, the doms lasted for days, which doesn't, which I don't normally get. So um, yeah, it's good. It's a nice little variation for you guys to try. Um, the t-shirt that I was wearing, ATG t-shirt, goes to justif.com. I'm gonna add a code for you guys. I'm gonna put the ATG code back on. So it's ATG, it's back on just for that. And uh, yeah, go check it out. And uh, more videos coming soon. Peace.